it would be a good time to I just had to run downstairs because I was getting some packages and I'm living in the fifth floor. I always have to run all the five floors down and up again. And just when I arrived back up again, it rang again and I had to go down again and up again. So my workout for today is definitely done, but I got two packages and we can actually make a little unboxing together now. And you know, I love that this camera has a blur filter a little bit at least because my skin is breaking out at the moment i don't know what's going on i have a lot of like red spots and pimples and um these super painful under the skin things that you can't pop you know but now let's do an unboxing of my packages <laughs> first one is source unknown I'm opening this in a completely wrong way but the only problem with this brand is since it's Korean the sizes are a bit off <laughs> for me because I am very tall and then here the Asian things are always cut like very small and very tiny and I don't always fit in them <laughs> but yeah let's see okay this is oh, this is a top it's really nice the straps could be a tiny bit longer for me because I have a very long torso but I'm not complaining it's very sweet I got this mini skirt that looks absolutely small <laughs> the skirt is really nice I take everything back what I said about the size the top is also nice but it's the the sleeves are really really short so my boobs are basically here below the ruffles and if I pull it down these ruffles are definitely uncomfortable on my boobs Okay, on to the next thing. The brand is called Lula's Lula's. Oh, it's so cute, oh my god. Look at this. Oh, that's also so cute. It's with pearls and also some little flower and a heart and a safety pin. <laughs> We have the next morning. Yesterday I unfortunately didn't finish editing my last YouTube video. It's always I'm stressing myself about it to, to finally finish it, but then at the same time I don't want to stress myself too much. The whole YouTube thing I'm doing like for myself and my community kind of and not for any brands or money or anything. So I feel like it's my little project so I can decide when to post and for example when I want to meet a friend and have some me time sometimes I should prioritize this but I'm still learning this <laughs> and right now I'm doing breakfast I'm just making some bread with like arugula pesto cheese just some stuff I think I told you yesterday already that my skin is breaking out so bad at the moment and I don't know if you can see it because of the, the skin filter but I have some really huge pimples here like in the middle of my face and it stresses me out I know this is from a very privileged person because I never have any issues with my skin except that it's very dry and I sometimes have like inflamed skin around the eyes but that's like I'm not complaining I never had acne in my life only like small pimples sometimes so whenever i have a bit more of a breakout like right now because they are very painful these are the the hard under the skin kind of pimples so whenever i have a breakout like this i immediately freak out and then i feel so sorry for people that have to deal with this since years and don't get rid of the acne because then I can really understand sometimes you can't do anything about it so now I'm trying to drink a lot of water eat healthy kind of <laughs> um, and I ordered a new makeup remover yesterday I think my breakout might come from my oil cleanser because I'm always taking my makeup off with oil stuff and when I then use a cotton pad with glycolic acid and go over my face I still have so much product on it that I feel like okay the oil doesn't even remove everything 
So probably it just clogged my pores so bad during the past month and this is probably why I have so many like also small little irritations and like whiteheads I think it's called. Hello! I have just been outside with Lara to shoot some content but the weather is really weird at the moment so we have like rain basically all the time and then like five minutes sun in between. So then we are super hopeful and think like, oh, now we can start shooting our content and now everything will dry because I hate shooting when the street is wet and there's like water everywhere on the street and you can see the reflection of the light on the street. I just don't like that in my photos. Um, and then it just starts raining again so you can't do any pictures at all. I'm kind of in a really good mood today and also in the moment, like generally the, the past days and weeks. I have been in a really, really good mood and I thought I could share that with you because I'm always super affected when other people have a good mood. This really goes over to me so my mood also increases. <laughs> so maybe this works for you as well. I'm currently doing a matcha latte for me. I just had some lunch, some just random leftovers from Matisse and my dinner yesterday. I still have to go to the post office today, pick up some parcels um, and I have to work on some email, um, which is annoying. And oh, I just noticed our towel is hanging up there. You know, we have no space in this apartment. So whenever we are doing our laundry and especially doing big things like bed sheets or towels, we have to hang them over our doors because we have no space anymore to, to put them on a hanger somewhere. This is something I recently shared on Instagram that Martin and me are thinking about moving. I'm not really happy in this city because there is a lot of, especially in the area where I live, I mean, yeah, I chose this area because my apartment is cheap. Um, but here are a lot of like creepy men and I basically get catcalled every time I leave the house. So that's really bothering me. And I'm also bothered by the fact how small everything is <laughs> since Mati moved in. When Mati's shared flat kind of split it up, we decided that he could move into my apartment. And the space is very limited now. I have obviously a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes, and I get a lot of packages. And um, Mati has his weird hobbies like doing plant stuff and technical stuff and, um, you know, like man kind of stuff. We have a 3D printer in our apartment. And I saw him using it maybe twice since we are living here. from yesterday with some bread. I started going to gym classes very recently. I haven't done a lot of sports during the past two years, which is a bit embarrassing. It's currently 8.15 in the morning and I just woke up. Mati is obviously still in bed. Yeah, but I'm really proud when I did this workout class. I'm just always so afraid to go alone to the gym. I don't know why, like I'm an, I'm an adult, I shouldn't be afraid of this. <laughs> hello, hello. So I'm currently at my parents' place. This is the situation right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I have all my stuff here on the floor. We have um, a school reunion kind of thing tonight. So me and my best friends, we are all from the same school, from the same year. So we have this reunion thing together today. I'm excited to see how people have changed and how, yeah, what everyone is doing. And 
You know, it's kind of weird if people are asking me what I'm working because as you know, since a few months, I'm a full-time content creator. And you know, there are always people who don't see this as a valid job. Just see it as a hobby. I mean, it is a hobby. It was my hobby and it turned into more than just a hobby. Um, and as you can probably imagine, there are also a lot of responsibilities you have with this job. And so, yeah, I'm excited if people will be judgy and will give me like side eye for <laughs> being an influencer. So I just did my hair and I think I did a pretty good job. Hair done, makeup done, outfit done, ready to go basically. Mm, I'm just waiting on my friends to pick me up and they are late as always they're always late um i mean i'm also not always on time but they are always late <laughs> i'm very hungover me and my best friend we were out until 6 a.m and that's exactly how i feel like <laughs> i don't feel good but it was a good night <laughs> hello so, I'm alive again, <laughs> finally, after two days of having the worst hangover of my life. Um, not my life, but it's under the top three, I guess. I'm so mad about the weather still. The situation hasn't really changed. We have rain every day and it's impossible for me to shoot any new content. And also, I'm going to Copenhagen in one week for fashion week and if the weather is like this, there, then I don't know what, what I'm even doing there. <laughs> now since the accident and today is the first day I'm feeling better pain wise um, I still have my back and my neck and like the whole throat area hurting um, but it's better today I think the whiplash injury is not really bad in my case so very lucky in general very 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 lucky after the accident it was a big shock for me i never had an accident before and yeah it was just crazy yesterday we were picking up the last stuff from my car because i had some stuff in the in the trunk and at the accident place we were not able to open the trunk um but yesterday we managed to and we got the last stuff out of it and it was crazy to see the car again and i'm so lucky that I'm not hurt and that I'm alive. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. Um, it was a shock, but now I'm trying to get over the shock and do my regular stuff. And also um, on Monday, so in two days, we have Saturday now, 
I'm going to Copenhagen for Fashion Week, so I'm very lucky that I'm not injured because now I can go to Fashion Week. And anyways, I wanted to show you now how I'm baking some matcha cookies because I have nothing to do today. I'm still kind of doing everything very slow and I'm not making content at the moment because everything is hurting in this area. So no content at the moment. I'm just doing like me stuff. So baking cookies now.